Hello and welcome to another tutorial related custom skins in Affector 2 with GIMP. Yeah, in this video I'd like to show how to paint uh, the windows, so to say. Um, I would like to mention that uh, on the Corvette C8 you can't paint the windows as far as I know. It has been discussed in a studio forum and um, at the moment it seems that there is no way to, to just paint the, uh, the windows. So. Um, I will take the 488 GT3 as in the video before. So first of all, um, yeah, we uh, have created a skin directory, I think. We still have it. We could go to single player, uh, just choose the car, press customize again, and um, we will go over to, uh, over to the material manager and here we see we still have the uh, custom skin created in the last video. Um, so how to create or how to paint uh, the windows. So um, first of all, of course, we need a template for the windows. Um, so go to program files, Steam, um, Steam apps, then the workshop and uh, just search for 488 GT3. So um, this is the windows uh, template. I double click it, go over to um, GIMP and uh, I'm just keeping the, wind, uh, the color profile. So here we see um, the window template also have a wireframe for orientation. Um, so these are the side windows, I think. Um, this is the, the back one or the, the rear window and this is just the front. Um, I would like to show simply to have a stripe also on the windows and so i switch off the wireframe by because i do do not need it at the moment so and uh, we can just select the wireframe layer on the in the layer dialog um, right click and say new layer so um, i call it again stripe so we have a layer it's called stripe and we just Take the select tool again, and we can select an area, and we will fill it with well, with a bucket fill tool, and uh, let's say it's uh, also a yellow, yellow one. So now we have a yellow stripe across uh, the wine screen, and uh, if we like to export it, we just need to flatten the image again. So there is a special behavior or a special thing with the windows, as far as I know, or it's just the method I using, I'm using and it's uh, working for me. Um, so right click on the, um, in the uh, layer dialog, sorry, say flatten image and now right click again and say add layer mask. We need to add the alpha channel one layer. So um, we just export it as the um, template is called Windows Out. We just need to export it also as Windows Out. So um, I think the file naming convention um, differs a little bit from time to time. So um, you need to, um, sometimes you need to figure out uh, if it's just called Windows or Windows Out. Sometimes you have also Windows In. You could imagine that uh, will influence the view from the inside of the car. So just export it. Um, as far as I know, Studio 397 recommends to export uh, everything with DXT5 at least and uh, generating MIP maps. Um, yeah, just export it to the skin folder we have just created before and um, go back to R Factor 2. Just choose the car again, click on customize. We will enter um, the material manager, click on the bucket fill tool, and you will see there's also a skin called Windows Out. Um, just click on the arrow and uh, back we will have an uh, advice to reload the page, reload skin. So, and now hopefully it will work. Also reload skin once back. And here we have a stripe. It's just yellow across the wine screen and we could see um, 
it is a little bit transparent. It's because um, we have to fill the area uh, too, like with the regions file for the basic skin. Uh, you can see it on the frame there. It's uh, not transparent. So um, let's go back to GIMP and uh, control Z also twice. Uh, we have the stripe and now it's a little bit tricky. Maybe there's another method to do it, but it is working for me. So I'm doing it this way and I'm showing it this way. Um, just right click or select the stripe layer, right click and say alpha to selection. Now right click again, flatten the image and right click again, add layer mask and we are adding the alpha channel again. So. Take the bucket fill tool and choose white color again. And now we could fill this and we see that we have a, a solid yellow stripe across the Rhine screen. Go to file, say export as. We are in this directory, as you see, and uh, we are exporting just the, the Windows file again. Replacing it, of course, the export dialogs and Go over to R Factor 2. Um, we are advised to reload the page. We will do so. And uh, clicking on the arrows should bring up the changed wine screen again. No, it's not working anymore. I think it's a little bit buggy. I don't know why, um, but it is. And uh, we have to reload the page again. Maybe it's working now. No, it's not. Here it is. Okay. Now you see we have a solid uh, yellow stripe across the right screen. Um, you won't see this stripe from uh, the inside of the car. So um, as we have Windows out template used, um, I think there's also a Windows in template. And of course you could uh, also paint the side uh, windows or the rear window if you like to. Um, also you could exchange uh, the top of the wine screen with another uh, yeah, name, or car name, logo, as you like it. Um, yeah, hopefully it has become a little bit more clear how the uh, wine screen template uh, needs to be used or is to be used. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.